This is our third trip to the Mount Nardi fire ground on the far north coast of New South Wales and it's seven weeks since a bushfire came through here. We've been documenting the fire-loving fungi, or pyrophilus fungi, that starts coming up within days of a bushfire coming through. Two days ago, we had about 40 millimetres of rain, so we're keen to find out if there's anything new. Seven weeks after the fire, and there are signs that the forest is starting to repair itself. With new growth, insects in the soil, the cicadas are almost deafening. Well, there's something here. And there's some different looking fungi starting to appear. Looks as though it might be tiny little cups. They're concave dishes, sort of like a satellite dish and they're a particular type of mushroom called ascomycetes. And instead of dropping spores from the bottom of the mushroom, the spores come from the cup. And often with cup fungus, if you blow on them, you'll find a puff of spores come out. Catherine videoed this one in China last year. You can see the spores being ejected from the top of the cup. And I've photographed a huge variety of these all over the world. Now here's something that's different. It's a brightly coloured fungi, hard to miss. Not sure what that is. It's powdery on top and it's quite a bright orange. And I love colour. That's what attracted me to fungus in the first place, was the brilliant colours. I'll try and get some good photographs of it and then maybe we'll be able to find someone who can identify it for us. You can see the mycelium here, and it's yellow mycelium. Oh, wow. So this fungus is actually just growing directly from mycelium, as you can see. Heavily entangled with roots. Perhaps it's a my ectomycorrhizal fungi. Ectomycorrhizal fungus grow in a mutualistic relationship with trees. So they attach to the roots of trees and infiltrate the soil. So get nutrients and water from the soil which they provide to the tree and the tree provides the fungus with sugars. Now this has obviously grown in the time since the fire because all of this top layer of soil would have been sterilized but that's clearly not sterilised, is it? <laughs> I come to these forests all the time, and now we've got fire, and there's a complete new range of fungus that come up, ones that I've never seen before, and will possibly never see again unless there's fire. <laughs> 